Hi everyone, and thank you very much for joining me on this channel, Adults ESL Online Learning. I'm Dr. Hernandez Smith, and in this video, we are going to be discussing the topic of shopping. We are continuing using eStudent Workbook from Ventures. This is lesson A, listening. Number one, before you listen, A, what do you see? B, what is happening? C, what's the story? Those are the three questions that we will use to analyze. Number one, I see cars in a parking lot. It looks like they are for sale and these cars are um, being looked at by people who want to buy a vehicle. Number two, I see a man. He is probably a car salesman and um, he has a name tag. He also has, it looks like some reports in his hand in his you know he's holding some reports and he also has his right hand extended out as if to greet a customer and he has a smile on his face picture number three i see two people a man and a woman they're probably a couple the way they are talking to each other or looking at each other and both of their hands are on a vehicle, on a car, and it looks like they're having a discussion about buying this vehicle because there's a lot of cars in the parking lot, and it also looks like there's a building behind them that where you go to do business to buy a, a new car. Picture number four, I see a car sticker, and it looks like it is the price tag for a total, it looks like it's the price tag for a vehicle. And it says that the total vehicle price is $29,785, which is essentially $30,000. And above that total, you see all the car features. It says um, from the beginning uh, that I can read, um, maybe uh, passenger eight way, a uh, power seat adjust adjuster front, passenger four-way, lumbar, power outlet, 120 volt, just the statistic or the stats uh, or the features for this vehicle. And then in picture number five, there are five pictures, not four, but in this picture, there is a picture of a flag that says used cars, which I think is letting customers know that this is a car dealership and where they can buy used cars. In this section, it says read, complete the story. So we are going to complete uh, the story. And there's a it's, this is one paragraph. And these are the words that we're going to use. Afford balance, cash, credit, debt, financing, interest, payoff, suggests. Ken and his wife, Julie, are looking at cars. Ken wants to buy a new car that costs over $27,000. Julie thinks that they can't afford to spend that much money. The, in their savings account is less than $8,000. The balance in their saving account is less than $8,000. She's afraid of getting into Debt. But Ken says they can get to help pay for the new car. Financing. The rate is low. 
interest. And they can take five years to the loan pay off. Ken isn't worried about buying things on credit. Julie disagrees. She that they could buy a used car suggests. She says her father never had a credit card. He always paid for everything. Okay, cash. Let's read this paragraph again, complete it, and make sure that this is correct. Ken and his wife, Julie, are looking at cars. Ken wants to buy a new car that costs over $27,000. Julie thinks that they can't afford to spend that much money. The balance in their saving account is less than $8,000. She's afraid of getting into debt, but Ken says they can get financing to help pay for the car. The interest rate is low and they can take five years to pay off the loan. Ken isn't worried about buying things on credit. Julie disagrees. She suggests that they could buy a used car. She says her father never had a credit card. He always paid cash for everything. This looks about right and it sounds correct. Now let's talk with a partner. Ask and answer the questions. Number one, what things do people often buy on credit? People often buy cars, houses, property, or other expensive things on credit. And it is, and credit is a good thing, but it also can be dangerous if you aren't familiar with how things work, how credit works. And if you do not pay off your balance, it can be a very um, awful situation. Number two, is it a good idea to buy things on credit? Why or why not? Again, yes, it is good to buy things on credit because it builds your um, credit score so you can have good credit and have a lot of credit and you're able to buy many things but you're also accountable and responsible for paying that balance off and if you don't pay that balance off the given deadlines, you can be in serious financial debt and then your credit score goes low and then it becomes very difficult uh, to buy things or to use your credit for an emergency, which does happen. So, um, those are my opinions. What about you? Um, what is your opinion? What do you think are good things? Um, what do you think are things people buy on credit? And do you think it is a good idea to buy things on credit? Why or why not? Thank you so much for being here and watching the video and being part of this discussion and part of of this learning experience. I hope to see you in the next video. I hope this also gave you a little bit of practice in your English. And if you like this, please hit the like and subscribe button. That way you can be notified when content is uploaded. Bye-bye.